Tonight, the capsizing of a cargo ship is under scrutiny. The U.S. Coast Guard heard testimony from a naval architect who studied the Golden Ray. That architect says problems in the ship's stability led it to rolling over in the St. Simons Sound. But they say the issue could have been corrected. All your size Troy class has the story and what experts are saying about the wreck. More than a year ago, the Golden Ray turned on its side in the St. Simon Sound. A naval architect confirmed Tuesday the ship likely capsized due to its instability. This was because the vessel had either too much cargo at a high vertical center of gravity or not enough liquid at a low vertical center of gravity. When the ship was making its turn to starboard, the ship rolled over. But the architect says the ship was unstable before it arrived off the coast of Brunswick. Maritime expert Rod Sullivan says it's a reminder this could have become a catastrophe. If it had rolled over at sea, there would have been loss of life. The engineers would not have not been able to get out of the engine room. We would have had a, a much more serious casualty than just simply the loss of 4,500 cars and a ship. The cars and ship which remain in the water. The U.S. Coast Guard estimates it will start cutting up the Golden Ray in early October. But due to weather and other factors, the timeline may change. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.